You gotta go see your baby. Feeling good and strong? Yeah. Yes. Okay, you want blanket or anything? Or you have it like that. You're comfortable? Yeah. Just ask for one if you need one. If you do hear them, when she's able to come into the room, yeah. let me know. Okay. Haven't been a wheelchair patient. We're never been in a wheelchair. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. You can just update them. Last video that you guys saw left holding her was the first time we held her. And that was about 20 minutes after birth because of everything that happened. Britt's finally getting back to go in there. She's sleeping and they won't let us wake her up because she needs to rest to recover from the marathon baby girl went through. So I'm getting a jacket because I'm freezing and uh, we're going to go back in. We got some more updates this morning and I'll let Britt explain a little bit more of those, but because we're an hour away, they don't serve me food. We've got to get some things because we only thought, we thought we'd be leaving this morning. So anyways, we got to go get a bunch of stuff. So I had to rent a car because Britt's parents have our car. So anyways, I'm catching an Uber to catch, to get to my Turo car that we rented for the day. And I'm headed to do that and then going to get some breakfast. And it's a really nice day outside. This hospital is just so beautiful. Anyways, Laney's doing good, or baby girl's doing good. And we are hoping, crossing our fingers, that we'll be able to take her home tomorrow. That's the hope, but we still don't know. They're running a bunch of tests. The main problem, I guess I'll share it. The main problem is that her heart rate gets really low and like low for a baby, like a normal heart rate for a baby is around 100, maybe 120, and hers is like in the 60s. So we're trying to figure out what that is. So they're running tests on her kidneys and on her liver just to get everything figured out. But we're happy she's here and she's doing okay. And that Brit is doing good. So those are all positives.
came to our dorm room. The best okay. gift basket in the whole We shared a bag of chips. Yeah. We did share a bag of chips on the and air mattress. Made me laugh, which is more, which than, is more than, than I right could do right now. <laughs> more than Connor, Connor, more than Connor I could never do that. You could never make her laugh the way I do. <laughs> exactly. I told Connor I was spend the night here tonight. He can go home. <laughs> serious. Brit's, Brit's sister wife. Serious. All right. So birth was crazy. Here's what happened. We went in. Brit started the induction wasn't very dilated they gave her the miso pill at like 10 30 and a contraction started they were super painful but wasn't getting very dilated she got to like a three and like the pain was so bad they she asked for the epidural and we got her the epidural around four and at actually around three and then baby's heart rate started to drop and they were having her move a bunch of positions because they were worried and they called the doctor in and around six something in the morning the doctor came in and said we were going to have an emergency c-section because the baby's heart rate had been low for too long and they were getting concerned and we were kind of freaking out and then she they checked Britt again and she was at like an eight and then they gave us like a few minutes because we were like i don't know we don't really want to have an emergency c-section surgery and the nurse that was on in charge pretty much said no i think you could do a normal birth anyways <clears throat> they went to check her again and within that span she was at a 10 so she was ready but her water hadn't broken and they pretty much asked us do you want to do an emergency c-section or do you want to um, have us pop your water and see if we can get this baby out both were like kind of a risk I, the natural the popping the water was definitely a risk because of the time and we didn't know how long it would take for Britt to push and they had just planned on moving us to the operating room so I was like halfway getting on my like scrubs to go into the operating room for the c-section she popped the water and Britt started pushing in within about five minutes the baby was here baby came out blue was not breathing they had to get her on a respirator so she could start breathing um we did not hear her cry and she was pretty Im immediately rushed off to make sure that she could breathe and make everything okay which was really sad and scary and then once the placenta came out we found out there was an abruption in the placenta and a blood clot about 100 grams they said it was about this big and that was causing baby to be in there stressing and making her heart rate go down because the food or like the nutrients from brit goes into the placenta and then from the placenta to the baby and there was that internal bleeding going on so it was super scary apparently one percent of birth that happens we we're freaking out and so then <clears throat> our daughter our baby sorry i'm like just all over the place she's been monitored she finally was able to be cleared to breathe on her own she's been off and on attached to oxygen and her heart rate's been super low and we got some sad news just barely that because this is our second day she was born yesterday morning <clears throat> um that she's gonna have to stay at the hospital for a few more days without us to be monitored because her heart rate has been so low since birth um <clears throat> it's gone down into the 60s it manage it maintains in the 70s and 80s but like normal heart rate for like a newborn is about 100 to 120 so they're trying to monitor that and making sure that's good and so Brynn and i are super sad <laughs> smaller room because the hospital birth center is so full right now but we just gotta go see Eileen and we gotta go see baby girl and we gotta hold her and she hopefully if her they can like keep her oxygen good during the night um and she's doing good in the morning and hopefully she can get off of it so we're just gonna see Connor's already asleep over there my curry and watch the bachelorette finale. All snuggled up, came to visit mama, back in the hospital. What do you think of her bud? Yeah. <laughs> 
Is she tiny? Oh, a hundred. Her heart rate. Headed back in to see her. To hear the update of the night, and honestly, I just my heart hurts. Filled with anxiety to hear what's going on. Just want to bring her home. And Feed. This is so exciting. And we're gonna bring her home. We're still not technically out of the woods. No, we have a big appointment with a cardiologist on. Next week. Next her, week. Her heart rate is still low, but the thing that's good is that her body's getting the oxygen she needs. Her oxygen, like her saturation. Her saturation is good, so we will be monitoring that meeting with a cardiologist, and they said it's okay to take her home for the weekend hoping that it'll help strengthen her heart. And yeah, we're excited, obviously a little nervous to take her home just because she's had phenomenal care here in the hospital. And so anyways, that's how we're feeling right now. Here we go. Is this the car we brought back to Yeah, we did. This is crazy. We are here. This is such a crazy moment. Like, I remember this with the boy, like it was yesterday. I can't believe we're doing it. Okay, well, I'm gonna drive safe, so see ya. driveway saying welcome home it's so cute they want i feel like i've emotionally recovered and feel capable to share what happened brit is busy feeding and i don't know if she wants to reminisce on exactly what happened but so now she's home and we're all home the boys have met her and it's been amazing um we're still out of the woods we gotta get confirmed from the pediatric cardiologist uh all of that we have an appointment for that tomorrow so we're hoping that that resting heart rate has increased and that the heart didn't take too much of a hit and that everything else is okay because all of her tests have come back good except for the low heart rate so anyways that is the rest of her story